two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavor on a 21st century mission placing Earth back on the map. Altitude one mile. It seems strange that any place on the Earth could be unmapped. Before we flew this mission, we actually had better maps of Venus than we did of the Earth. But a lot of the Earth, especially the sort of uh, equatorial band, plus or minus 30 degrees around the equator, is cloudy almost all the time. And most mapping systems use optical cameras, whether they're on satellites or airplanes, they can't see through clouds. Well, for this mission, we use radar, and radar sees right through clouds. So we're able to get every little uh, coral atoll, every little island uh, that's possible. Uh, and so now we have this kind of library of, let's say, volcanic data from some of these islands that uh, the geologists are really rubbing their hands in anticipation to see. With digital elevation maps and computer models, scientists and, and disaster planners can calculate uh, what low-lying coastal areas, for example, are in danger, where water is going to go in case of storm surges, even sea level rise, and in the case of what's happened two weeks ago, a tsunami. So I think in future years, we're going to see uh, managers and planners much more able to respond to this kind of event and maybe save uh, a bunch more lives.